wait I really should close those it is getting dark I really need to take out the trash and recycling after this. Shoot, go, go, go. There we go. And thought to herself, bound to do all she could to bring her brothers back and she had neither rest nor ease till at length one day she stole away and set out into the wide world to find her brothers wherever they might be and free them whatever it might cost her she took nothing with her but a little ring which her father and mother had given her a loaf of bread in case she should be hungry and a pitcher of water in case she should be thirsty and a little stool to rest upon when she should be weary thus she went on and on and journeyed till she came to the world's end then she came to the sun but the sun looked much too hot and fiery so she ran away quickly to the moon but the moon was so cold and chilly and said I smell flesh and blood this way. So she took herself away in a hurry and came to the stars. And the stars were friendly and kind to her. And each star sat upon its own little stool. But the morning star rose up and gave her a little piece of wood and said, If you have not this little piece of wood, you cannot unlock the castle that stands on the glass mountain, and there your brothers live. The little girl took the piece of wood, rolled it up in a little cloth, and went out and went on again until she came to the glass mountain top and found the sh door shut. Then she felt for the piece of wood, but when she unwrapped the cloth, it was not there. And she saw she had lost the gift of the good stars. What was to be done? She wanted to save her brothers and had no key for of the castle of the mount, glass mountain. So this faithful little sister took out a knife, took a knife out of her pocket and cut off her little finger that was just the size of the piece of wood she had lost and put it in the door and opened it as she went in a little dwarf came up to her and said what are you seeking for i seek my brothers the seven ravens answered she then the dwarf sat said my masters are not home but if you will wait till they come pray step in now the little dwarf was getting their dinner ready and he brought their food upon seven little plates and their drink in seven little glasses and set them upon the table and out of each little plate their sister ate a small piece and out of each little glass she drank a small drop but she let the ring at that she had brought with her fall into the glass glass. On a sudden she heard a fluttering and a croaking in the air and the dwarf said, it on my masters. When they came in, they wanted to eat and drink and looked at for their plate, little plates and glasses. Then one said to the other, who has been eating from my little plate? And who has been drinking from my little glass? Caw, caw, where are we? What are lips have this way been? When the 
When the seventh came to the bottom of the glass and found there the ring, he looked at it and knew that it was his father's and mother's and said, Oh, that our little sister would but come. Then we would be free. When the little girl heard this, for she stood behind the door all this time and listened, she ran forward and in an instant all the ravens looked their right form again and all hugged and kissed each other and merrily went home. I think that's enough for now.